Hello and welcome back to SAS4. As requested, uh, I'm going to do a video for armor augments this time. And yeah, let's get started. <laughs> so anyway, uh, different armor types have different augments that they can use, but every helmet, vest, gloves, legs, and boots can all use the same augments to each other. So every different boots can use the same set of augments that I'll show you when I can find my boots. Every boot, like every set of boots, can use these five augments. Every single chest can use these eight. You know, that's how it works. Anyway, the thing with augments is, since a lot of the armor augmenting is, you know, based on their base resistances, like what they have, you get different uh, increase in resistances based on what they have. For example, a Medusa helmet with Hazcam will give you a lot more toxic resistance than it will physical or heat. So if you were going to, you know, augment it with a resistance, then that's what you would want. In conjunction with something like hard plate legs, which give you a lot of physical and heat resistance, but not as much toxic. So you can use the Medusa helm or something else for that. Also, um, as I did in the last video, I'll be explaining what uh, every augment does, along with what you should augment with each piece of gear, which is probably going to take me... It won't take me as long, but there are a lot more uh, choices of augments with gear as th than there are with weapons, because most weapons are pretty much just all deadly adaptive and overclock. But uh, anyway, let's get started. So with uh, Helm, first off, um, everything can have fortified heat resistance and has chem, and what they do is pretty self-explanatory, so I'm not going to explain those. But uh, let's explain the other augments. Uh, energized, um, which is only usable, I believe, on helmets and... Can legs use them too? I don't think so. No, it's just body and helmet. So, energized um, increases the maximum energy of the wearer by 2.5% for augment level, which is terrible. Don't ever augment anything with energized, please. Revitalizing, which is usable on the boots and helmet, increases the energy um, regeneration rate by uh, 0 0.3 per second at level 1, increasing to up to 2.5 at max level. And this is very useful for medics, but not really useful for anyone else, because more energy regeneration means they can spam medkits and biobombs. It's fun. Um, on top of that, we have... Resuscitating, which increases the um, recovery time when you get knocked down in multiplayer. It, it, it uh, decreases the time that it takes to get back up, which is useless in single player because if you die, you're dead and you lose. But uh, in multiplayer, um, it's not really a useful augment for most classes, but for the niche suicide medic, it, that's usually the augment of choice for the uh, helmet and the chest. Because they die, they drop a bunch of medkits with final farewell, and they get up faster. And when you have a lot of points in recovery time and resuscitating on your helm and chest, you get back up very, very quickly. It is nuts. Um, over here we have body feeling, which is usable on the helm and chest, and it increases the augment bonus by 2.5% per augment level. Uh, unfortunately, this doesn't. I don't believe this stacks with toughness, and it doesn't stack with each other, the augments. It's just your base health, so whatever health you would normally have at your level with no bonuses, it would increase uh, by 25% at max augment level, which isn't the worst thing in the world, but it's not favorable either. It's not that great. Resistances are better, but, you know, if you've got weak resistances on whatever gear piece you have, then, you know, you consider throwing body feeling on it. And then down here, which are helmet-only augments, we have target assist, which is a critical strike bonus, or a crit chance bonus, I guess it's called in this game. Anyway, crit chance, 2.5% uh, at the first rank and 7% at max rank. It's just a 7% increased chance to crit. It's pretty good. And, yeah. Smart target is a just a flat damage percentage increase, 2% uh, at first level and 15% max, or at 10, rather. And 
it's probably the go the first go to augment that all helmets should have. The second augment can be, you know, whatever you want it to be, whatever you feel you need. But the first augment should always be smart target. Fifteen percent damage is just unpassable. Um, for chests, we have uh, again the resist stuff, energize body fueling and resuscitating. They also have tissue repair, which uh, increases the health regen. It starts off at one health per second. It goes up to 20 at uh, 10. And I believe at 12, it goes up to something like 36 or 38. It gets higher as you get more points in it. They also have CQC enhanced, which uh, gives melee damage, basically damage to any melee attackers, any zombies that run up to you and hit you. It'll reflect damage back to them. Uh, at level 1 it's 20, and at max level it's 500, which is uh, a good bit of damage to be knocking back on people who hit you. But uh, that's all the chest augments we have. Moving on to gloves, we have the three resist augments along with nimble, and nimble is a reload time increase, 2.5% or reload time decrease that is, 2.5% uh, less reload time at first rank, 25% at rank 10. And a must-have on all gloves, since, you know, it, gloves don't really have high resistances, like these, for example. Black only have 500 uh, heat resistance. So, you know, nimble, along with any other damage resistant augment you want, it's your choice. Generally the best, uh, the best resist your gloves have, preferably. Then on legs, we have... Fortified Heat Resist has Cam Body Fueling and Machine Assisted, and what Machine Assisted is, is a movement speed increase, and at 10, I believe it's, I believe it's 7% at 10, yeah, 8.2% uh, at 10, and then at 12, it is uh, 10%. So I believe it starts off at 1.5% uh, and then goes up varying numbers, I guess. <laughs> But yeah, pro not really, I wouldn't say it's a must-have on legs, like, with hard plate legs, if you have, like, big resist legs, like hard plate, for example, you'd be better off to put, uh, resisting augments on them first, to take advantage of the really high resist they have, and then, you know, I cord mine, so I decided to throw machine assist on them to offset the movement penalty of them. And then for boots, we have... Uh, revitalizing, machine assist, and the three uh, resist augments. So yeah. Now let's talk about what to augment on everything again. <laughs> uh, I'll just use blacks for example, it doesn't really matter, it's all the same. In my opinion, for every helmet, if you are a heavy or an assault, get target assist and smart target. If you are a medic, get smart target and revitalizing, and if you core it as a medic, get target assist. If you core it as an assault or a heavy, get whatever the best resistance for the helmet is, or whatever resist that you need. For example, if it's a Medusa helmet, get, uh, if you core it, get Hazchem. If you core a Titan helmet, get heat resist or physical. Uh, if you core an R1 helm, get heat resist, but whatever you need. For most vests you should get the top two resistances the two best resistance that it has like the dragonfly vest you should get uh, fortified and hazchem if you have a medusa vest get hazchem and fortified or hazchem and heat resist if you have a titan tesla shock get physical and hazchem or heat resist and if you have a hard plate chest physical and heat resist um, if you have a Rubicon power assist, even black, you should probably, if you have a red or a regular one, in the case of any body, if you have a red or regular one and the resists aren't that good on it, you should get uh, body fueling and tissue repair. Tissue repair first and then body fueling. Because the resistances on them, aren't, on the red ones aren't that good. It only really matters if it's black. Like if we look at the red Medusa vest, it's got 600 toxic resistance, but the augments aren't gonna boost it all that much three or five it'll it'll be a little bit good but i think you're probably better off with at least getting tissue repair for the regen but um on the black rubicon power assist 
on the red Rubicon power assist, you should get the uh, tissue repair body healing because the th defensive stats are atrocious. If you get a black power assist, the choice is up to you. If you need the uh, resistances, you can certainly get, you know, fortified, hazchem, or heat resist. But uh, they don't boost it a whole lot, so only if you need that extra little bit to get 99% if that's what you're aiming for. But preferred would most likely be tissue repair. You should definitely have tissue repair on it, at least somewhere. Uh, it does give an 18% movement bonus, which makes it very much worth considering in really any build. But aside from that, yeah, do what you want. Um... I will mention that I don't think at any point is it ever worth to take uh, CQC enhanced unless you're just making a fun little screw around CQC build. Moving on to pants, uh, for pretty much any pants you should have machine assisted. If it's hard plate pants you can consider just putting fortified and heat resist. But in most other cases you want machine assist, the movement speed is pretty important. Uh, don't ever Get the, I don't think you can get resuscitating on legs actually. No, you can't. Just get machine assist and whatever um, resistance you need. And if you core it, you can just add another resistance. <laughs> um, with gloves, nimble, and whatever the strongest resist on the gloves are, it doesn't really matter which gloves they are. Like if it's producer gloves, get nimble test cam. If it's Titan gloves, get nimble and any of the three whichever you need hard plate gloves which i never suggest you use get nimble and any of the three you need they're all pretty none of them have really big resists and lastly for boots um whatever boots you get if you're a medic you get revitalized and machine assisted if you're not a medic you get machine assist and whatever the best resist you need on the boots are now getting into something a little bit more depth, more in-depth, I'm not quite done there. Talking about what the best setup of gear is for each class. Let's just assume all of the gear is black. For helmets, the Titan, um, the Titan helmet, I don't want to try to pr uh, pronounce that shit, <laughs> is generally the preferred helm. I guess I should more so talk about what, e what each helmet does and what I think is best. The Atrium Killer Helmet, Trooper Helmet, Carbon Fiber Helmet, and Special Forces Helmet all don't really do anything special, they just have defenses. The Hummingbird Helmet gives a 1% movement bonus. The Hard Plate Helmet gives very high defenses and gives 952 health, but reduces movement by 10% and reload time by 8%, which I would never ever use. The R1 Intercept Her Helm, as all of the uh, flame resistant gear, the blue stuff, R whatever, has. They all have uh, pretty high melee attacker damage. So there's that. Medusa Helmet has reload time minus 9% for the, for the uh, black one, 6% for the regular. It is worth noting that the all gear has diminished effects as regular than they do red or black. So I guess I'll mention those as well. The Interceptor Helmet only has 30. Hardplate Helm only has 5% movement penalty and 5% increased reload time and 595 health. The Graphene Combat here is all kinds of shit. <laughs> uh, 3 energy, 357 health, 3 hate, uh, health per second. I'll just read off the red ones. <laughs> um, so the red Graphene Combat Hood, thank god. 6... 6 energy, 595 health, 6 health per second, healing, 2% energy or recovery time increase, 50 melee attacker damage, and 2% movement increase. The Titan helmet has 5% movement penalty, 15% extra gun damage, which is lower for the regular one, has 10%. On the vests, the HVM, Trooper, Carbon Fiber, and Special Forces vests are all the same, they just have defenses. The um, Hummingbird Vest, Shuttle Vest, gives 2% movement. The Heavy Trooper Vest gives 952 health, 150 melee attacker damage, and 50% pe movement penalty. The RS4 Guardian has 100 melee attacker damage. Heartblade Vest has 35% movement penalty. Rubicon Power Assist has 18% movement increase and 25% recovery time. Dragonfly Vest has 3% movement bonus, 3% recovery time. 
Medusa Vest has 10 flat energy increase. Graphene Bodysuit Top has 6 energy, 595 health, 6 health per second, 2% two reco recovery time, 50 melee attack or damage, 2% movement. And the Titan Tesla Shock Chest has 15 health per second, 200 melee attack or damage, and 10% movement penalty. Over to pants, the same four pants do the same thing, which is nothing. Short weight pants have 2% movement increase, R7 pants have 75 melee attacker damage, hard plate pants have 15% movement penalty, dragonfly have 3% movement and 4% recovery time, medusa pants have 8 energy, graphene pants have 6 energy, 5 melee 5 health, same stuff as always, <laughs> literally the exact same figures. Titan, uh, Titan MEM pants have 1,785 increased health, which I believe is actually the highest health increase in the game for an item. Uh, again, same stuff. Shot light gloves have 1% movement. Hard plate gauntlets have 5% less movement and 10% less reload. I don't recommend using that ever. Flame Juggler Gloves have 3% gun damage. The black ones have 5% gun damage. Or no, the black ones have 3% gun damage. I thought that was changed. It's not. Oops. 150 melee attacker damage. Dragonfly Gloves have 5% less reload and 2% more movement. Medusa Gloves have 5% uh, damage. That's the one I was thinking of. And 6 energy. Graphene Gloves have the same stuff as always. And Titan IDS gloves have 15% increased or decreased reload time. Very good. Same four boots, same as always. Shortweight boots have 3% movement. R8 boots have 75 melee attacker damage. Medusa boots have 2 energy regen per second and 8 energy. Uh, Hardplate boots have 7% less movement. Dragon White boots have 3% recovery time, 4% extra movement. Graphene boots are the same as always. Titan MEM sprints have 12% extra movement. And finally, I'm going to talk about what I think is best for each class and each type of build. For pretty much any class, for any class that wants to do damage, the best helm by far is the Titan helm. If you're a support type of medic, the Dragonfly helmet is good, gives a lot of movement speed, and gives a little bit of gun damage as well, so it's not bad. You could also use this on other classes too if you want to sacrifice 10% damage for 4% movement. Really, it's up to you. And the Medusa Helm has 9% reload, so that's also kind of an option you can just throw in there. Especially if you're running a build that has no fast reload. For chests, in my opinion, the best chest for every class is the Rubicon Power Assist. If you're a heavy, you can also consider the Hard Plate Chest or the Titan Tesla Shock Chest because you have heavy gear which can offset the movement penalties. And the hard plate chest gives massive physical defense. I think you can get 99% resistance just off of the hard plate chest with uh, 12 fortified. Um, with pants, you can, I think the best, best pants is really hard to decide. The pants don't really do anything entirely special. Like hard plate pants can be good for any class preferably not medics but like assaults and heavies if they need if assaults really need a defense they're good on heavies too because heavies can completely eliminate the movement penalty dragonfly pants are the fastest pants available so those can be good titan mem pants give a massive health bonus so those can be nice as well for assaults that don't have tough body to uh, combat dark minions uh, medusa pants can be good to give uh, missing toxic resistance because you know popular vests and helms like the titan helm the dra uh, not the dragon fire but the titan helm and the hard plate chest and rubicon chest they don't give much toxic resistance so you can offset that by throwing in some black medusa pants with hascam and machine assist and those give you a lot of toxic resistance very helpful gloves the best gloves by far titan ids gloves you should not have any others on if you really really want to you can use medusa gloves or just, just try to get Titan Gloves ASAP. They are the best by far. Um, and for boots, Titan MEM Sprint. If you are a medic, you can also consider the Medusa boots because they do give two energy per second, uh, per second for free. And, you know, 10 revitalizing is 2.5, so that's almost an entire another augment slot with revitalizing on it, so that's very useful. But the other than that, yeah, if you're not getting Medusa boots, you should have Titan boots. Very 
fast. So yeah, this video was a little bit longer than the other one, mostly because I rambled a lot. <laughs> but uh, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it, and uh, if there's anything else that you want me to do, you can certainly message me whenever. I am on Congregate, as always. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.